Hello YouTube, my name is Gregory and welcome to my channel Adventures with Greg. Today I'm going to show you how to do an Eldritch Knot. Unlike a normal knot, the Eldritch Knot is tied with the small end and not the fat end. I've worn this knot to work, parties, interviews, and even my own graduation, each time the knot being the center of conversation. To begin, align the fat end of the tie just above your belt buckle. In this video, I have the fat end on the left and the small end on my right. Going up to the section of the tie you'll be knotting, begin to make a dimple. This is done by placing your index finger on the middle of the tie and bringing in your thumb and middle fingers together. This should be like a W. With the small end in your right hand, bring over your tie towards your left, loop under the tie and back towards your right. Loop over the knot and bring the small end towards your left, looping over the front like you're tying a Windsor knot. Uh, however, be sure not to insert the small end like you would normally do for a Windsor knot or half Windsor. Pull towards the left, then loop under the knot and bring the small end towards your right. Insert the small end into the fold you just made and place a small end in the back of your knot. Loop again on the left side and insert into the fold you just made. When our eyes touch so familiar deep inside, like you were already mine. Surreal to me, how you make me. Unlike a normal tie, you can't just hide the excess material behind the tie. Instead, you can wrap the excess material around your neck and hide it under the collar. A side note about the Eldritch Knot is that the hardest part is adjusting the folds that make up the Eldritch Knot's iconic overlapped image. When adjusting, you pull from behind the tie away from you in order to tighten the knot to make the, the folds look neater. If you have too much material at the end of uh, your tying process, you can also use a bobby pin to make sure that the small end stays in place. If you liked the video, leave a thumbs up below and subscribe for more content. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of the tutorial. Until then, I'll see you in the next video.